Wealth Trade family, what's good, what's good? We are in the week of October 20, because the beginning of the week starts on Sunday. So today's the 24th, yesterday was the 23rd. So we're in the week of October 22nd to October, let me count, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 27th. So it'd be October 22nd to October 27th. That'd be this week's trading. Last week, I didn't trade. But the week before that and the week before that, Chief, stop. And the week before that, I'm um, sorry, my dog. He was messing with my little princess. So last week, I didn't trade. The week before that, I trade. Lost. The week before that, I traded. Lost. So I had two losing weeks, a break, and then I'm trading again. And we are currently in a sell on GBP USD. My original bias was buy, um, but then I see news coming out, and I was just kind of letting the market settle. And then after news came out around Euro and GBP, and USD came out from I want to say 12 a.m. all the way to 6:45. It was just news, Euro news, GBP news, USD news. Um, and I don't trade news. I actually wasn't going to trade this week. But I seen real two really good setups, a sell on Euro USD, which I thought about entering, but I didn't. So when I seen the setup on GBP USD, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna let this one pass me by. So I entered that. We are currently in a position right now. Um, it's currently consolidating. So if it breaks that consolidation range, I will just, um, what's the word, scale in to more positions if I'm able to, because like I said, the last, Last week I traded, which was two two, two weeks ago. Um, I lost a significant part of my profits, um, so I had to stop. I had to stop trading and just kind of like step back and refocus and just kind of get my head back on straight. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so I just came up with a new a new plan on how I can maximize my wins and profits instead of maximizing my losses and loses, my losses and profit taken. So yeah, just want to update you guys on that. I'll put my trade right here i didn't record me entering it because i wasn't thinking about making a video this week for it i was just going to trade on the low and see how i did this week um but again all about transparency here i want to share my wins and my losses with you guys um as much as i can uh so yeah i'll put it right here the trade i'm currently in i used a 0 0.02 lot size which I think is about 2,000 units, which is 20 cents a pip. I wanted to do a 0 0.03, but because I lost so much profit last week, I didn't have enough funds to actually open a 0 0.03. So what I'm thinking of right now is if, <clears throat> if price breaks the consolidations, I'm going to close one position <clears throat> from my first trade and open another position, which make it a second position in there uh, as price continues to move down. So that's what I'm going to start doing moving forward is mainly just focusing on getting in one pair. Even if I see multiple trade setups, I'm going to get in one pair and practice my scaling in. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Peace. Don't be afraid of the dark. Be careful with stars. Not every light is going to guide you, baby. Don't let them rain on your spark. Keep it close to your heart. All of the pressure's gonna drive you crazy Cause you rise to the madness In the morning it's all gonna vanish Don't be afraid of the dark Be careful with stars Not every light is gonna guide you Not every light is gonna guide you yeah, when I blow up, I'ma soar high like Peter Pan In real life, be living out my dreams If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land Whole wrist covered up in ice Dealership, never ask the price I hit the molly ball with my dogs Yeah, I swipe it once without thinking twice Cause this what I was made for Man, I know this what I came for On a big stage, couple thousand people And they do whatever I say so Have chicks that color the rainbow Yeah, chains on me like Django Be a long way from my tank low Cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls And I'm grinding money on my mind and I'm heading to the top I won't stop until I find it Write my name in diamonds But all these lights are blinding I wonder is it worth it Feel like I'm losing my mind Yeah, remind me Don't be afraid of the dark Be careful with stars Not every light is gonna guide you, baby Don't let it rain on your spark Keep it close to your heart All of the pressure's gonna drive you crazy Cause you rise to the mat
Yo, Grand Rising Wealth Trades Family, Grand Rising. So you will see in the clips before this that I was in a trade on GBP USD, but what I realized is when I was coming to work, I seen the setup. I should have entered when I initially thought because that was the initial drop um, of GBP USD. So when I entered again, which you guys will see in the clip, the drop already happened, the move already happened. So now it's like in this consolidation range. Um, and I noticed that, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna close my trade and get an AU. Cause I seen AU have a nice sell setup. Now, I entered a little late. I should have entered when, the, when that candlestick first opened like I was initially thinking, but I was still in GU. And I'm only getting in one trade at a time with a 0.03 lot size. That's what I'm gonna start doing. So I had to close out of my GBP USD trade to enter into an a, the AU trade, which I'm currently in right now. And when I get home and I get on the bigger computer, I could actually use either or. When I get home and I get on either computer, I'm gonna show you guys the setup that I've seen that I should have took, but I didn't. Uh, but now I'm in AU and I'll let you guys know how that goes. So yeah, I closed like a dollar and something in profit on AU which is better than being like negative or letting it hit my stop loss, especially since I've experienced this before. So yeah, anyways, I'm finna get ready to head home. So I just wanted to update y'all real quick. Peace. So let me go ahead and quickly show you guys this setup I seen uh, around maybe 10, 11 o'clock. I was on my way to work when I seen it. Um, and I did enter into another trade on GBP USD at a 0 0.01 lot size. We only need one screen. Let me put that back. Okay, so if I was to replay this down to even up here, like right here, this is what I've seen as I was going to work. This is around 2100. Is just because I don't know off the top. It's around 9 o'clock. I get up around, I got up around 955. So I've seen this forming around 8 o'clock. And I put this trend line here. But this is what made me hesitant. I'm like, it has to break this level of support for me to think about entering into a position, right? So as time went on, played out, I'm seeing this happen. I didn't, I didn't get in. Um, and this is why I think the initial drop happened. I was thinking about getting in around here. This is around, this is 11 o'clock. I was at work at this time. Yeah, 2300. It's 11 o'clock. I was at work at this time. I was thinking about entering, but I was like, nah, because it can come here. It's not a good risk to reward. And then look what it does. Like that, that to me was the initial move, the initial drop. I don't remember exactly when I got in. I think I got in right before this drop because I remember seeing this and then I got out. Um, I want to say around this candle because it's 7 o'clock. Yeah, I got off of work. I want to say around this candle because this one took me out. So around this candle, I was already out of the uh, out of the trade. And I hopped into um, AU, which, I'm, which is moving slow. I don't want to say I'm uncertain. I'm moving myself everywhere. I don't want to say I'm uncertain. I just know I got to be patient. Um, for it to go down, this was the original TP, but since that's so close, the next TP is down here or down here. But this, as you can see, is a good risk to reward, so just be patient. All right, y'all. So, as you can see, AU is finally moving. Um, there is going to be high impact, I want to call it news per se. But let me go on Forex Factor on my computer to, sh to share with you guys what's going to happen at 3 o'clock today, which means I'm going to more than likely close my trade. So, you, AUD, our Australian, is going to have Governor Bullock speaks at 3 o'clock. So, I'm trying to be out the trade before he speaks because that can totally change the direction of the trend. Or really just impact it to continue to go down. Either way, I don't trade news, so I'm definitely going to do my best to be out of it um, and in profit. Now let me go to GU.
GU is also moving down. As you see, I have this gray box here that it still has to break through. And for USD, Federal Chair Powell speaks at 135, which also can have a very high significant impact on um, the market, which can either change the direction or continue the direction that is going in, which right now is a downtrend. But we shall see. So currently, that's where I'm at in both these trades at the moment. For GU, though, I believe that it will surpass that gray box that you see on the screen. Um, just because the trend is down and it's heavy bearish pressure, but the market can do what the market wants. And we are currently up $5, slowly growing this account. The milestone for this account will be to grow this account to $100. That will be my first milestone, especially since I only deposited $30.80 and I'm profit about $17. Lost, lost a good amount. Y'all seen, I lost a good amount. Um, so yeah, but uh, that's it. That's all I got for y'all right now. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I'm just going to set it up like this. So let's go ahead and put these numbers in. Let me record it on this phone as well so that you guys can see it. I'll probably put it on like the side over here. Uh, so let me go ahead and put these numbers in. Let's see. So, 1.91647, 1.91647, and then the TP is 190272, 190272, cool, 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 yeah, so there's that, just gonna let this trade play out and uh, see what it does, all right, y'all, oh, wait, I didn't even set I didn't even set this up or what I entered. That's why I'm looking like, what's going on? Let me set that up as well. So I entered at 19390. So this is what we're looking like right here. So actually, that's not bad. It's actually only cool. Look at that. Laughable goals, heavy hitting in advice that they give. That's just how it goes. I'm staying on go. Monopolize a set of skills and chance it will never I'll roll. Never rolling over, only one in the backs of the women who get to know me on the surface. Deeper questions won't buy the time that she need with me. That shit is not up for purchase. I told my circle I jackpotted. Now I gotta set the example. Luckily, my catalog rivals any popping artists. Hot with the best that I gamble. Triple sevens every time. How the fuck is it a hit every time? Okay, hold up. This nigga working like he off a of ketamine high. Wealth Trades family, what's good, what's good? It is, oh, okay, I can see it's 4, 17 in the morning. We're going to get it closer. 4, 17 in the morning, it's Friday. Yeah, I can't get to get it look any better if I back it up. Well, now it's 4, 18 in the morning. Um, and I did enter into a sell on Euro. Uh, since it is Friday, I'll be closing both my trades around maybe 1, 1 p.m. here. So I entered a, a quick little 0 0.01 lot size on Euro um, just to get a few a few little pips. Maybe like 
three four dollars out of that trade uh still in the trade on ga um right now it's um retracing i'm not sure how much i'm up i'm probably up three dollars right now i've been in that trade for a few hours so so far we're profit let me let me actually just look right now to show you guys well tell you guys instead but yes i just woke up Try to go outside to give it a bit of content of the moon because it's so beautiful out there. It's um, the moon is very very bright. Uh, I don't know how well you guys gonna be able to see it in the video, but just know that your boy tried. So while that's loading, let me uh, check these um, check these trades out. See how much I'll see what they're doing. Anyways, you guys, how y'all been? How was y'all trading week? How did y'all sleep? Brand new day. How y'all feeling on this lovely Friday, the twenty seventh of October? We a few days away from Halloween. Um, yeah, man. There's a lot, there's a lot going on in the world, bro. There's just so much crap going on right now. That's why I'm trying to learn this skill because there's no, there's really no field. Yeah, okay, so hold up. I'm on GA, I'm up $3.17, $3.77 for EU, EU, I'm up 13 cents. Um, And GA is definitely like pushing up. I don't know what's pushing it up that hard, but I think it's a retracement. Um, like I was saying, yeah, I'm definitely trying to learn this skill and master this skill the best way I can because there's no field you can go into. In today's time, where it's it's security. I mean, there's really no security anywhere, but there was more job security years ago than there is now, especially with AI you know, becoming like the main center of everything and just taking over everybody's positions. Like, I don't know if y'all seen, but they got AIs that can do burgers, AIs that can do clean, clean toilets, do all that, basically like housekeeping. They got AIs that can, um, you know, do bank jobs. They just got AIs that's taking over a lot of things. So that's I'm trying to really learn this skill because the skill, day trading is a skill that, can't be replaced by an AI. It's some. It's, it's you on the charts. You know. It's it's you and your ability to read, take action, um, and, and be patient and trust your analysis and take risks. That's what it is, as well as investing. So that's just what I'm on. But yeah, all right, y'all. I'm about to get off. Peace. Alright y'all, so my GA trade is doing really good. However, I lost two trades on EU. And here's the thing about not remembering when news comes out. I forgot that USD news came out today around this time. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. News usually comes out around 5.30 here in the West Coast of uh, Las Vegas. Um, and then they have another news announcement coming out at 7.30 for usd pairs and i forgot and i entered into two cells on euro and lost uh, both those which equals around three dollars however my ga trade is doing good now if i would have just remembered and i looked that's the crazy thing i looked i looked the day before but i forgot um so that's a crazy thing if i just would have remembered that usd had news coming out i would have never entered the trade and I just would have stuck to my GA trade which would have uh, kept me in profit and would have been just my winning trade for Friday but so far we are definitely like I think seven dollars in profit so I'm gonna hold on to this trade unless it gives me a sign of reversal then I'm gonna close so my account right now is at fifty dollars I think I dropped it down to thirty two weeks ago because I lost like ten dollars two weeks ago um, I profited about $8 so if you take $3 off of that so about $4 I profited 
um, over the last month. I can think I profited about so I profited eighteen this week. So if you take off four, about fourteen dollars, and that's not with my including my GA. Um, so if this trade goes well and GA goes in my favor, my account should be sitting about maybe sixty dollars. Um, the first milestone I'm trying to hit is 100. If I can grow my account from 30 to 100, that is my first milestone. So I'll let you guys know by the end of the day because it is Friday and the market's closed. I think I got two or one. I'm probably going to get out the trade by like 12.30. I know I said one, but I'm probably going to get the trade around 12.30 because I'm not sure when the market closed and I don't want to have rollover rate or hold on to any pair during the weekend because they can do major gaps. So yeah, peace. I'm not gonna finish eating this Ethiopian food here, y'all. I don't know if y'all had Ethiopian food before, but it's bussin'. So yeah, y'all, peace.